All right, we're taking off on the east side of the property, close to the lake, and we'll see it in just a moment here. Uh, this is tracked 15 at Elm Hollow, it's seven acres. That's looking east, that's Bull Shoals Lake, part of the, the huge Bull Shoals Lake, right there. So the entire east side of this property borders the Corps of Engineer take line, uh, which essentially is, is the lake and the land around the lake. So looking down on the road as we face east, and there's the water right there. So you can go from the east side of your property, literally right, right through the trees, um, to the lake. This video was taken in about the middle of the summer. That's when the lake is generally uh, at its highest level. Um, they drop it down uh, kind of off-season uh, if they need to work on the dam or, or anything like that. So checking out the area that's looking southerly. That peninsula you see there is the one with the little trail we discovered that goes uh, to the end of it. And it's a, a place that um, we thought about putting in some, some jet skis. It's got kind of a primitive boat launch. Uh, that road that you see just there that was going straight back, that's just a driveway for a couple guys, uh, two different families that have lake houses to the south that are not part of Elm Hollow. Now back over the lake again. Gorgeous, gorgeous property. Unbelievable. Um, we're looking westerly. And I believe we're going to basically fly straight over the property and come back. I already mentioned it's about seven acres. Uh, county road access. It's got County Road 618 crossing over the east side. So you've got good access throughout the year. Um, and... Uh, another huge bonus, there is a power line on site on this property. It's toward the east side as well, not too far from the county road. And we'll see that in a moment. You'll see the, the cleared area. There's the county road at the bottom as we head west. Good gravel road. You can see our red truck parked there. Uh, and then there's the power line clearing. So you, And just beyond the power line... Um, Within 50 feet or 100 feet is the uh, gravel creek, creek bed that crosses over the property. It's going to be a wet weather creek bed, but it's actually really, really beautiful. Uh, quite a bit of uh, good native rock and gravel in there. Heading westerly, as you go west from the creek, the creek's the lowest point, creek bed. Uh, it's pretty typical on a property with the creek bed to be the lowest point. Uh, from there, it rises up as you go west and... Um, we're just about over the west end, west end, which would be the highest point of the property. Looking south, again, that trail or road that you see, um, that's not part of Elm Hollow. That's a driveway to uh, a couple lake houses to the south. Um, we were looking toward where the lake houses are, but they're uh, lower, so you couldn't see them. But again, not part of Elm Hollow. Just didn't want people to be confused by that that other driveway. So now we're headed back to the east. Going a little quickly here. Might have had a low battery. Beautiful mixture of timber on this property. We've got all types of hardwoods um, and then definitely some cedar trees that we're seeing mixed in throughout there. That looks like a natural glade area. The way the, uh, the grass is so short and then the a high concentration of cedars that might be a back there could have been a natural glade which is pretty cool to have on your property again we're flying easterly back toward the county road and the lake there you can see the power line toward the east side that power line is a huge huge bonus um, and it is something that, that a lot of people it may not be in the forefront of their mind when they're searching for property there's the red truck parked on the county road at the property um, but having that power line on site is fantastic. That potentially saves you a ton of uh, time and money and hassle uh, if you decide that you do need power at some point. This is a beautiful section of the lake. Uh, we can see the fish, big fish right from the shore. Bull Shoals Lake is generally very clear. Great for swimming, great for fishing. Um, from what we can see here, it looks like you could bring you know, your kayak um, from your property, just walk right across the, uh, 
the core of engineer land and put your kayak in the water there. Uh, there are boat launches in the area, like we mentioned at the very end of that peninsula. Uh, the county road ends just a, a few hundred yards after the property, and then we discovered kind of a little trail that goes down to the end of that peninsula um, that looked like uh, probably was used by the, the locals, um, just not very often. There's, there's never been anybody on, uh, at the trail when we were out there. The trail goes right down to the lake. Uh, but it's what we mentioned earlier where we had we had our jet skis we would have probably launched them there because it was basically set up almost as a primitive boat launch and so there, there was no gravel I mean no concrete slab uh, but jet skis uh, you know a small bass boat a small and mid-sized pontoon boat they don't weigh that much uh, and so that hard pack ground uh, would have been would have been okay and uh, we've used a lot of primitive launches at Bull Shoals Lakes and Bullshoals Lake and other lakes and they've been fine. But that being said, there are actual <laughs> concrete boat launches in the area. Uh, there's a really good one just down uh, Highway HH, uh, not more than just a three, four miles from the property where you could launch any size boat. But we ran out of video. Uh, <laughs> check out the listing page if you're not already there. We're gonna have a, a ton of other details. We'll have uh, uh, a ground video, we'll have um, different maps and, and all that good stuff. So uh, we're excited about this. This is tracked 15, total of 16 tracks out here. We do not have any other projects, um, certainly not on Bolshoi Lake, but we don't have any other projects on water anywhere coming up. So uh, this, this is pretty awesome. Uh, the core frontage, the power line on site, the county road, uh, nice mixture of timber just looks like a winner so if you have any questions let us know um, we do hope to hear from you